Here are some of the materials that you will be needing. First is an empty tin can. Next is an empty match box. You will also be needing some used film rolls. Make sure that at the end of the roll, there is an extra film for you to attach the new one. and some clear scotch tape. You will be also needing a ruler, a sharp cutter or a knife or a scalpel would do, and a black electrical tape. Make sure that it's color black. You will also be needing some black markers, A sharp scissors, and a new film roll. So this is my film roll. It consists of 36 shots. And make sure that it's new and it's never been opened. And the roll is already at the tip for you to attach it to the old one. Just like this. You will also be needing some pen or needle. And overall, here are the things that we'll be using along the process. So let's start. So here, we'll only be using the matched box itself, so we'll not be um, using the contents on the inside. So first, let's draw a box on the middle. This serves as the opening so that light could go through the film. Next, we'll be applying some adhesion to the side using a black electrical tape. And the use of the black electrical tape is to avoid light going through and making sure that the inside part of the camera is really dark and there is no reflection of light. So next, we'll be um, marking some black markers to other parts so that no reflection of light would happen on the inside. And we'll be using the other um, part of the matchbox. And here we'll be cutting a smaller hole compared to the first one. And this serves as the opening of our camera so that light could pass through easily. And we'll be marking again the inside part with a black marker to avoid any reflection on the inside. Next, um, we'll be using a tin can and cutting a small square with a hole in the middle. This serves as the aperture using a needle and applying it onto the small hole on the uh, matchbox using a, again, black electrical tape. And here we'll be um, utilizing the new um, film roll box by covering it to the um, opening of our matchbox camera. And here we'll be cutting a hole that is similar to the front part of the matchbox. So here um, we'll be applying again some adhesions so that it would stay put. And here the insert part of the camera. So here is the um, pre-final output. So the next part is we'll be attaching the film roll onto the sides of the um, matchbox. So next, 
on to your left is the old film roll and on to your right is the new film roll so we just have to attach it to each other and make sure that it's smooth sailing and here here is the final output so I just attached it using its scotch tape and uh, make sure that when you adjust the old film roll the new film roll will also be adjusted and um, here is the opening the small aperture is on to the inside and as you notice at the left part or which contains the old film I um, attached a holder so that I could easily adjust the old film roll and the new film roll will also be adjusted. So the reason why I attach a small holder to the old film because it is kind of a little bit difficult when you adjust it and um, I, I attach it so that it would be easier for me to adjust the new film roll and it would not take a lot of time. So here I tried to open the aperture This project has made me appreciate the things we have in our surrounding by using recycled materials. At first, I was doubting myself if I could successfully produce one because it was kind of difficult for me, but the process of making it was never easy. It takes a lot of patience, focus, and determination to finally finish one. The most challenging part was trying to make the perfect shot because I have no idea on the film inside if it worked or failed. I tried several times with different light levels and corresponding time that the video reference has instructed us. With this project, I have appreciated the beauty of the evolution of the art of photography and, ha and I have witnessed how optics have somehow paved the way for the evolution of modern high technology cameras today. Optics have definitely re-established the importance of light and its behavior most especially in our everyday use of cameras. Lastly, the groundbreaking inventions brought by the help of optics have made our lives much luxurious and reasonable.